Hey everyone, it's me, Sherry. So if my voice sounds a little different, I am sick. I have um, a pretty bad dry cough at the moment and I'm all congested and everything. Again, this is like my third time. Well, I was sick early fall of 2013 and now I'm sick again. But what can you do? It is flu season, right? So today I'm going to continue on with my 2013 series. So this is going to be my flops for 2013. Now, just because I'm going to say it's a flop for me doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a flop for you. And the products that I still actually have, I will show you guys, but some of them I actually tossed out because I just... There's no way I was going to use them. These ones are still flops for me, but I will continue to try to use them up because I don't like to waste money, if that makes any sense. I know they're horrible products, or I'll pass them on. I don't like them. I think they're not very good products. The ones that were absolutely horrible that I couldn't do anything with, obviously I threw them out, so... I will show you guys pictures of those. So in no particular order, I'm just going to jump in and show you guys what I have. So I do have two nail polishes for Flops for 2013. One I actually have on me still, and it is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection. It just looks like this. It is in the color Walk of Hollywood Walk of Fame. And as you can see there, it is just a bunch of different glitter and different colors. This is absolutely stunning, don't get me wrong. The only reason why it is a flop for me is when you try to actually use it. Not many sparkles and stars come out on the brush and you actually have to dab them to take your time to dab them and I kind of thought it was just going to be, I guess I should have known better because it's so chunky. Um, it's beautiful but it's just a lot of work to get it working. The other colors from the collection may be perfectly fine. This one is just not what I expected so I'm going to call it one of my flops for 2013. Next one is actually a nail polish as well and I don't have it with me because I'm actually after giving them away. And it is the brand Nail Teeny. I will leave a picture up here somewhere or over here somewhere. Um, I received two of these from the Ipsy bag and I had them on my nails for literally one day and they started chipping and they were just a big old mess and I used a top coat and a base coat with it. So unfortunately Nail Teeny gets a thumbs down for me for this year. Um, maybe some of the other colors are good, maybe just the ones that I had were no good, but I'm got, sorry, but Nail Teeny has hit my flop list for the year 2013. The next product I also don't have with me, but it is a makeup product, and it is Maybelline's Mega Plush Mascara. Again, I will leave a picture here or here. I typically love Maybelline mascaras, but this one, for some reason, I just could not get it to work right for me. I opened up, I tried to use it, it was really wet, so I left it for a little while, and then it just, not a little while, but like a, bit, like a week or so to see if it would dry out any, and it just didn't get any better for me. I just did not like the consistency of that mascara. I used it maybe two times, and I threw it out. I absolutely hated it so unfortunately Maybelline for that one gets the two thumbs down so I will never repurchase that product. I absolutely like I hated it. The next product I'm probably going to get some hate for this one but it's actually a high-end product and it is Benetint. Um, I used Benetint and I found that it stripped off my foundation. Um, I used I put like a couple little dots on my cheeks and tried to blend it out and I just found that it was stripping off my foundation and it actually stayed the dots kind of didn't blend out properly you could still see the dots I just couldn't get the product to work for me I know a lot of people swear by it and there's other benefit products that I absolutely love High Beam was one of my favorites for the year 2013 but unfortunately Benetint just didn't make the cut for me this year the next product that I have is actually something that I'm actually wearing today because I'm trying to use it up um, and I actually loved this product when I first got it, but now I don't like it that much. Um, I think it's working out a little bit for me in the winter, but it does not work in the summer whatsoever. Um, and I guess I should tell you what it is. It is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. This gives pretty good coverage, and it's a half-decent foundation, but I think it's not for people that have combination to oily skin. This breaks down on me fairly quickly, so... This tends to be the foundation that I wear when I'm just recording because sometimes I will wear my makeup for recording and then just take it off after I'm done recording if I'm just having a chill day at home. But if I'm actually going out after I'm done recording, then I'll use my CoverGirl foundation, something that I'm going to wear for a long period of time. Or I'll wear this if I'm just going out really quick and I know I'm not going to be out very long, I'll wear this. But I really don't like this. This makes me feel really greasy in my T-zone really quickly. As I said, I think this product would work out well for somebody that had drier skin um, because I think it is supposed to be it says anti-fatigue it has like a glowiness to it and I think it's supposed to look like that but I just don't like the way it looks on me 
Um, the coverage is pretty decent. It's not like fantastic, but I think CoverGirl is going to be my all-time favorite, and this one just isn't working for me. So, unfortunately, Ramel, this one's a flop for me. Next product that I have is a skincare product, and I don't have them anymore, but I received them in a glossy box, and they are the Be Fine scrubs and lotions and stuff. Again, I'll put something up here. Um, these things broke me out like crazy. I don't know if they were expired and Glossy Box sent them out because Glossy Box Canada had a lot of issues, so I don't know what was going on there, but I don't know if it was just the product itself or if they were expired. But the things, every one that I used, they broke me out, so unfortunately, Be Fine products are a big thumbs down for me. The next product that I have, and I'm probably going to get hate for this as well, and I gotta explain this one. I love the scent love it. It smells absolutely incredible. I hate the consistency of it. And it is the Alo Aloha Pink um, Vibrant and Beachy Super Soft Body Lotion. I was using this in the summer because it just smells coconutty and it has like a nice beautiful summer scent. I love the scent but I find you really have to work this to get it into your skin. It is super moisturizing, so that's good, but I like things, I think I'm spoiled with, I love Bath and Body Works lotions because it's no effort, you just rub them in and even their the triple moisture body creams, you don't really have to work them in too much. I find this, I really had to work it in, so just due to that fact, I love their scents, but due to that fact, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down, but I will continue to use it because it was a giveaway prize, and I know this stuff is expensive usually, so I'll continue to use it up. I'll use it on my legs or something, but I'm not really fussy for the consistency of this particular lotion from Victoria's Secret. The next product that I have to talk about is something that I had in one of my empties videos. Well, it was the shampoo. This is the conditioner. It is the Tame for Professionals Argan Oil Smoothing Conditioner. My voice is really cutting out, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I hate this stuff. I can actually say I hate it. I don't use this on my hair anymore. I've been using this to shave my legs, so I guess it's okay for that. So it's good that I found another purpose for it, but I can find better ones to shave my legs with as well. But I hate this. It left my hair greasy because just, I guess, maybe too much argan oil in it or something. I use argan oil in my hair on a daily basis, and I don't have issues with it, but this... I didn't find the shampoo, both of the products, the shampoo and the conditioner. The shampoo didn't leave my hair clean enough, and the two of them used in combination with each other leave my hair greasy, so this gets a big thumbs down. I only paid $1.54 each at the Dollarama, so I'm not too upset about it. So, and as I said, I used up the shampoo, and I'm just continuing to use this to shave my legs, and I'm almost out, so at least I got my money's worth, I guess. The next product that I have to talk about is another hair care product, and it is the Tresemme Dry Shampoo. don't have it anymore. Um, I thought it was great when I first started using it, but then I tried other brands, and then I'm like, no, no, these ones are way better. So I'm currently using the Fructus one, which I absolutely love, but I find I go through it really quick. But the Tresemme one just leaves my hair extremely filmy and, like, white and just gross. So I don't like the Tresemme one, unfortunately. I love a lot of Tresemme products, but I just don't love that one. Maybe if they can figure out a way to reformulate it, I would like it better. But as of right now, pfft, sorry, Tresemme has been a flop for the dry shampoo department. Um, there are two different kinds. I don't know how the one works for curly hair, if you guys use that one. If you guys like it, let me know. But, I mean, I don't have curly hair. My hair is pretty straight. So I use the one for fine straight hair, the dry shampoo, and I just, I absolutely didn't like it, so I guess I should, should have specified that, because I know there are two, and I don't know how well the other one works. My friend Krista uses the one for curlier hair, and she loves it, so it may be just the one for the straight fine hair, so I don't know. The next product that I have to talk about is a candle, and I started using this in the end part of 2013, and I just absolutely hate it. I love the smell of it. It smells incredible. It is the mint cocoa candle. It came, I don't know the brand on this. I got it at Walmart for $5.97. It smells gorgeous. Like It smells like mint cocoa, exactly what it says. But as you can see in the inside of this, this is tunnel burning. Like... All of this wax is still here, and then it's just tunnel burning. I'll continue to use it up the best that I can until I can't use it anymore, but I hate this, and I will not repurchase these type of candles anymore. These are 22-ounce ounce candles, but like I said, there's no brand on them, so Walmart puts them out around Christmas time, so I don't know if it's just this particular candle or if it's all of them, so I'm just buyer beware on this one. 
Okay, so I have one fashion flop for the year 2013, and it's just a personal flop for me. I love the trend, and I think it's really cute and feminine and pretty, but it just does not look right on these curves because I'm still a little poochy in my midsection area so it just doesn't suit it and it is the peplum style I've tried it I have peplum tops but I just can't get it to work right sometimes if the peplum is down lower or up a certain amount of higher it'll look okay but there's certain areas where the peplum lies and it just doesn't look good on me so unfortunately for the most part peplum does not work for me so I have to give that fashion a thumbs down if it works for you guys, I think that's great, but it's, like I said, these are personal flops for me for the year 2013. Today I have two random flops for the year 2013. I have one of them here with me, and it is actually tea bags, and it is the Celestial Seasonings Cinnamon Apple Tea. This tastes more like an apple cider. The cinnamon on this is really, really strong, like even for an apple cider. I just did not like this. I tried it numerous times and I just couldn't get into it. So I'm a big, tr I'm a relatively big tea drinker. I try different kinds and I just, see I'm throwing it away right now. I just could not get into that one. So again, it was the Celestial Cinnamon and Apple. I just, I couldn't get into it, but we keep it around because somebody might enjoy it. So I think Hubert uses it a bit, so I don't know. And then the last flop for the year 2013 for me would be the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. I just do not like this toothpaste at all. Um, I taste it horrible to me. I did, I'm having a really hard time recording this video, guys, because my voice keeps going in and out. So bear with me um, if the editing is bad, too, because I cut out in like weird spots. But... I really did not like the Optic White Toothpaste because I found it did not whiten my teeth as much as I thought it would and it tasted horrible. I used the Crest 3D White Toothpaste and I love that one and I do find that keeps my teeth whiter. So I'll continue to use that one but the Colgate one just it sucks. So anyway, that is my 2013 flops. What products have you used in 2013 that you just didn't find worked out well for you? I like to share these things because, like I said, and just because it doesn't work for me, you guys give it a try. Let me know if any of these products worked for you and you like them. Like I said, they just don't personally work for me, so I'm putting them as my personal flop. So I hope you guys don't get offended by anything that I included in here because if it works for you, I think that's fantastic because a lot of these products I wanted to work or else I wouldn't have bought them, right? So that's the way I feel about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this 2013 series, the best of and the worst of. Thumbs it up if you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye everyone.